In this video, we're going to talk about functions. We're going to talk about what they are, why we like them, and why do we want to use them. Before we talk about functions, we need to talk about scripts. So we've already been using scripts up until this point. All the script is, is just a series of lines of code. So if you just have a bunch of lines of code in a file, then huh, you made a script. So let's um, do a simple example of a script here. So let's say I wanted to um, figure out how old someone would be by the end of a certain year. So I want to write a script that calculates a person's age. So we can do something like that very simply. We can have a variable called current year. And let's say the current year right now is 2016. And then we can have their birth year. So let's say birth year. And for me, my birth year was 1993. All right, so if I wanted to calculate the person's age by the end of that year, all I have to do is subtract the current year from, or the birth year from the current year. So I can have the person's age is equal to the current year minus the birth year, right? And just like that, we have three lines of code, we have a three line script. However, let's think about this for a second. Suppose I wanted to use this on another friend, or suppose I wanted to use this at a future year or a past year. If I had this script, I would have to go in and manually change my values inside of there. So let's say I wanted to figure out how old I'll be next year. I would have to go in and change 2016 to 2017, right? That doesn't seem like um, it's too hard, but let's say I wanted to do this for a thousand different people, right? That would be a lot of modifying. Let's say I had to change the current year and their birth year. That would be a lot of modifying and computer scientists are notoriously lazy. So this is too much work, right? Having to change all of these lines of code and imagine if my script wasn't just three lines, imagine if it was like 50 lines and I had to go in and change all of these different lines of code. We don't like that. Scripts, we can't easily change the values inside of them. And that leads us to why we want to use functions. So what is a function? We've already seen functions before in math class. So if I said something like f of x is equal to x squared, this is a function that takes in a value of x and outputs the square of that value. So if I were to say something like f of 2, so I'm placing 2 as an input, I would get back 4 because 2 squared is 4, right? So all a function is, is we can, we can kind of describe a function in this black box analogy. So we have this mysterious black box where magic stuff happens inside of there. But all we know is that we place in some type of inputs the function does some sort of manipulation, and then we get some sort of outputs or something happens. So a function is just this black box where it takes in inputs, does some stuff, and outputs something. So there's two main concepts that you need to understand with functions, and those are abstraction and encapsulation. These are two concepts that are very powerful in making functions one of the most useful things in programming languages. So by abstraction, to abstract something, that means to take a complex series of steps in and kind of mold it into one general idea, right? And I can explain that through, let's say, let's say the mean function. So we all know what the mean is. The mean is just when you take a series of numbers, add them together, and then divide them by the number of values there are. Right, so there's many different steps in taking a mean. Not, not many, but there's some steps in taking a mean. But when we talk about just using the mean, we don't think about all of those steps. It's abstracted, all of those steps are abstracted into the idea of what the mean is. So the abstraction is kind of taking something and placing it into an idea, an overarching idea. And once we have this idea, we can use encapsulation to kind of keep all of that inside of one little bubble, right? So when we think about a mean, all of those series of steps are kind of 
isolated inside of that idea. So we're encapsulating all of our series of steps. And so these two ideas together, abstraction and encapsulation, lend themselves to making functions becoming very reusable, right? So we can have the mean function and we can reuse that for many different scenarios. So just as a recap, in this video, we talked about scripts. We talked about how they can be a lot of work sometimes, which then led us into talking about functions. We talked about what they are and why we like them. And through this discussion, we talked about two very important concepts, abstraction and encapsulation. These two concepts allow function to be very powerful and very useful as well.